But the president's point, what you just saw, is not crazy. It's not just a talking point. It's actually true. According to the numbers, El Salvador is, in fact, safer than many major American cities. El Salvador, safer than Baltimore, for example. In 2018, Baltimore had 51 murders per 100,000 people. The same year, San Salvador had a smaller number, 50 per 100,000. San Salvador was long the most dangerous city in the hemisphere. Baltimore, by the way, also has a higher murder rate than Guatemala, Honduras, and Afghanistan. So why don't people who live in Baltimore have a right to apply for asylum in Central America? Thanks to good leadership, El Salvador is getting safer. Meanwhile, thanks to people like Kamala Harris, our country is becoming far more dangerous. From vicious attacks in broad daylight to cold-blooded murders by night, another summer of sin is already underway in New York City. Shootings year-to-date are up 81 percent. This weekend alone, 27 people were wounded in 22 shootings, including a Manhattan federal prosecutor hit by a stray bullet in the face while having dinner at a restaurant. Bullets went flying in New Jersey this weekend where a birthday party turned into a mass shooting. 14 partygoers were shot, two died. Community members blame gang wars. Chicago had a worse weekend where nine people were killed and 38 injured by gunfire. The victims include a 15-year-old boy shot in the head while sitting on a front porch. So it really is getting more dangerous. It's not your imagination. And by the way, murder may be the only event in human life that the U.S. government tracks accurately. It's kind of hard to hide the body most of the time. So we know for a fact that major American cities saw a massive increase in homicides, overall 33 percent increase in homicides last year. And that's continuing this year. And that leads some people to wonder why Kamala Harris is promising to rebuild Central America rather than America. One of the people wondering is a man called Andrew Holmes. 